LNG glossary of terms. Absolute vapor density, the mass of a unit volume of gas under stated conditions of temperature and pressure. Adiabatic, without transfer of heat. Administration, the government of the country in which the ship is registered, flag administration. Approved equipment, equipment of a design that has been tested and approved by an appropriate authority such as an administration or classification society. Bog, boil off gas, vapor produced above a cargo liquid surface due to evaporation caused by heat ingress. Asphyxia, when a person is deprived of an adequate supply of oxygen a loss of consciousness will follow. Asphyxiant, a gas or vapor which has no toxic properties but when present in sufficient concentration excludes oxygen and will cause asphyxia. Auto ignition temperature, the lowest temperature to which a solid liquid or gas requires to be raised to cause self-sustained combustion without initiation by spark or flame. Bar gauge, pressure and bar. Boil off. Vapor produced above a cargo liquid surface due to evaporation caused by heat ingress. Boiling point, the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals that of the atmosphere above its surface. This temperature varies with pressure. Bonding, electrical, the connecting together of electrically conducting metal parts to ensure electrical continuity. Brittle fracture. Fracture of a material caused by a lack of ductility in the crystal structure resulting from low temperature. Cargo area, that part of the ship, which contains the cargo containment system, cargo pumps and compressor rooms. Cargo containment system independent tanks, independent tanks are self-supporting. They do not form part of the ship's hull and are not essential to the hull's strength. Type A are tanks, which are designed primarily using recognized standards of classical ship structural analysis procedures. Type B, are tanks which are designed using model tests, refined analytical tools and analysis methods to determine stress levels, fatigue life and crack propagation characteristics. Type C, referred to as pressure vessels are tanks meeting pressure vessel criteria. Cargo operations, any operation on board a gas carrier involving the handling of cargo liquid or vapor including cargo transfer, reliquifaction, venting etc. Cavitation, uneven flow caused by vapor pockets within a liquid. Certified gas-free, means that a tank, compartment or container has been tested using an approved instrument and proved to be sufficiently free at the time of the test of toxic or explosive or inert gas for a specified purpose, such as hot work by an authorized person. For example Shore Chemist and that a certificate to this effect has been issued. Chemical Absorption Detector, for example Dreger tubes, used for the detection and determining the concentration of gases or vapors based on the principle of a reaction between the gas and a chemical agent, the gas discolors the agent. Closed Gauging System a system whereby the contents of a tank can be measured by means of a device which penetrates the tank but is part of a closed system for example float system, electronic probe, magnetic probe. Combustible gas indicator, an instrument for detecting a combustible gas slash air mixture. Critical temperature, the temperature above which a gas cannot be liquefied by pressure alone. Explosion proof enclosure, 1 which will withstand, without injury, any explosion of the prescribed flammable gas that may occur within it under practical conditions of operation within the rating of the apparatus and will prevent the transmission of flames such as will ignite the prescribed flammable gas, which may be present in the surrounding atmosphere. Filling limit, or ratio, the volume of a tank expressed as a percentage of the total volume, which can be safely filled, having due regard to the possible expansion, and change in density, of the liquid. Flame arrester, a device used in gas vent lines to arrest the passage of flame into enclosed spaces. 
Flammable, capable of being ignited and burning in air. The term flammable gas is used to mean a vapor air mixture within the flammable range. Flashpoint, the lowest temperature at which a liquid gives off sufficient vapor to form a flammable mixture with air near the surface of the liquid or within the apparatus used. This is determined by laboratory testing in a prescribed apparatus. Gas dangerous space or zone, a space or zone within the cargo area which is designated as likely to contain flammable vapors and which is not equipped with approved arrangements to ensure that its atmosphere is maintained in a safe condition at all times. Gas free, gas free means that a tank, compartment or container has been tested using appropriate gas detection equipment and found to be sufficiently free at the time of the test, of toxic or explosive or inert gases for a specific purpose. Gas freeing, the introduction of fresh air into a tank, compartment or container to remove toxic, flammable or inert gas to such a level as is required for a specified purpose, for example tank entry, hot work. Gas safe space or zone a space or zone not designated as a gas dangerous space or zone. Gauze screen, sometimes called flame screen, a portable or fixed device incorporating one or more corrosion resistant wire meshes used for preventing sparks from entering an open deck hole, or for a short period of time preventing the passage of flame, yet permitting the passage of gas. Hot space, the space enclosed by the ship structure in which a cargo containment system is situated, see cargo containment system. Hot work. Hot work is any work involving welding or burning, and other work including drilling, grinding, electrical work and the use of non-intrinsically safe electrical equipment, which might produce an incendiary spark. Hot work permit. A document issued by an authorized person permitting specific work for specified time to be done in a defined area employing tools and equipment which could cause ignition of flammable gases. Hydrates. The compounds formed at certain pressures and temperatures by the interaction between water and hydrocarbons. EMO, International Maritime Organization, this is the United Nations Specialized Agency dealing with maritime affairs. EMO codes, the EMO codes for the design, construction and equipment of ships carrying liquefied gases in bulk. IGC code, the International Code for the Construction and Equipment of Ships Carrying Liquefied Gases in Bulk. Inert gas, a gas or vapor, which will not support combustion and will not react with the cargo. Inerting, this is the introduction of inert gas into a space to reduce and maintain the oxygen content to a level at which combustion cannot be supported. Inhibited cargo, any cargo which contains an inhibitor. Inhibitor, a substance used to prevent or retard cargo deterioration or a potentially hazardous chemical reaction. Insulating flange, an insulating device placed between metallic flanges, bolts and washers, to prevent electrical continuity between pipelines, sections of pipelines, hose strings and loading arms or equipment slash apparatus. Intrinsically safe, intrinsically safe equipment, instruments, or wiring are such equipment, instruments or wiring that are capable of releasing sufficient electrical or thermal energy under normal or abnormal conditions to cause ignition of a specific hazardous atmosphere mixture in its most easily ignited concentration. Liquefied gas, a liquid, which has an absolute vapor pressure exceeding 2.8 kp cm2 at 37.8 degrees Celsius, and certain other substances specified in the EMO codes. LNG, liquefied natural gas, principal constitute of LNG is methane. LPG, liquefied petroleum gases, these are mainly propane and butane, shipped either separately or in mixtures. They may be refinery by product gases or may be produced in conjunction with crude oil or natural gas. MARVs, the maximum allowable relief valve setting of a cargo tank. Polymerization, the phenomenon whereby the molecules or a particular compound can be made to link together into a larger unit containing anything from two to thousands of molecules, the new unit being called a polymer. 
A compound may thereby change from a free-flowing liquid to a viscous one or even a solid. A great deal of heat may be evolved when this occurs. Polymerization may occur spontaneously with no outside influence, or it may occur if the compound is heated, or if a catalyst or impurity is added. Polymerization may, under some circumstances be dangerous. Purging, the introduction of nitrogen or suitable inert gas or suitable cargo vapor to displace an unacceptable tank atmosphere. Relative liquid density, the mass of a liquid at a given temperature compared with the mass of an equal volume of fresh water at the same temperature or at a different given temperature. Term specific gravity being discontinued in general. Reliquifaction, converting cargo boil off vapor back into a liquid by refrigeration. Responsible officer, the master or any officer to whom the master may relegate responsibility for any operation or duty. Responsible terminal representative, the shore supervisor in change of all operators and operations at the terminal associated with the handling of products, or his responsible delegate. Restricted gauging system, a system employing a device, which penetrates the tank and which, when in use, permits a small quantity of cargo vapor or liquid to be exposed to the atmosphere. When not in use the device is completely closed. RPT, rapid phase transition, when LNG contacts water under specific conditions, it transforms explosively from a liquid to vapor state. Secondary barrier, the liquid resisting outer element of a cargo containment system designed to afford temporary containment of any envisaged leakage of liquid cargo through the primary barrier and to prevent the lowering of the temperature of the ship's structure to an unsafe level. Sloshing, Wave formations which may arise at the liquid surface in a cargo tank from the effects of ship motions. Span gas, a vapor sample of known concentration used to calibrate, or span, a ship's gas detection equipment. Static electricity, the electrification of dissimilar materials through physical contact and separation. Threshold limit value, TLV, dash the TLVs refer to the maximum concentration of gases, vapors, mists or sprays to which it is believed that nearly all persons on board may be repeatedly exposed, day after day, without adverse effect assuming an 8 hours per day, 40 hours per week exposure. Because of the wide variation in individual susceptibility, exposure of an occasional individual at, or even below, the TLV may not prevent discomfort or aggravation of a pre-existing condition. Vapor pressures, the pressure exerted by the vapor above the liquid at a given temperature. Venting, the release of cargo vapor or inert gas from cargo tanks and associated systems. Void space, the enclosed space in the cargo area external to a cargo containment system, not being a hold space, ballast space, fuel oil tank, cargo pump or compressor room, or any space in normal use by personnel. CTS, custody transfer system, this is the cargo measurement and level gauging instrumentation.